This is Andrea Lady Dre Williams with your Urban Update on Q Live One Radio. And I have on the phone here in the studio with me the award winning violinist, Mr. Eric Stanley. How are you doing this evening, sir? I am doing great. It's, uh, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling, feeling happy. I'm just excited to come to San Antonio. It's my first time uh, performing, playing violin in the city. So it's, just, it's just a huge opportunity. I'm honored. Well, on behalf of Richard Stevenson, the owner of Q Live One Radio, we are glad to have you here. I've been following you on Facebook. Um, they call you the internet sensation, but I think you go way beyond that. How it started was I, I would upload videos of me playing piano, violin, and I just wanted some feedback from other people, other musicians, just to, uh, you know, how I can get better. And it kind of evolved to me just uh, inspiring other kids and adults to to want to pick up the violin. Most people started when they were in around like 11, 12, maybe 6, 7, 3. So it was one of those things that everybody did, but it kind of faded away as we got older. That's where I remind people to that right. you know, it's okay to, to pick up the violin and right. play just, just because you, you want to feel good, you, you love it. Now, at what age did you start playing the violin? I started uh, at 12. I started at 12 years old. Oh, okay. Did someone inspire you, or if, was it just something that decided to pick it up and do it yourself? Well, my brother, my brother Marcus, he, he played viola when he was really young, so I saw him. I saw him play. Uh, it was like, man, I want to I play something along, along those lines. I think of the violin as a result. And it, it was, of course, it was just an elective in middle school, and I didn't really practice as hard as I should have. But when I got to high school, I really started to enjoy it more. Yeah, well, I did read there was an eight-year-old um, that you inspired to want to play the violin after he saw you playing at his uh, elementary school. And yes, yes. Yeah, I thought that was yeah. really neat. You know, you're a role model at the age of 25, which is great. Honestly, the way it started was uh, when I was in high school, I had uh, the option to play violin or basketball and and playing violin in the orchestra. And I was often missing concerts. So my teacher said, well, hey, you can go to one of my other schools and play for the kids to get a grade. So that's how I first started inspiring kids. And that's where my music is added more dynamic to it. It's more dynamic and it gave it more meaning rather than just being a good violin player. Uh, I was able to, to add God in the mix with it and push it more and make it more powerful. Right, and that was an easy A. Because you're really yeah. good. <laughs> um, also, I also want to touch bases that you actually got to perform for the former president of the United States, Mr. Bill Clinton. Yes, yeah, I, I did. Um, that was, wow, that was an exciting moment for me. The, the best advice he gave me was, uh, do what you love and love what you do. He told me how he quit play a saxophone for a while because he thought he wasn't good. And how when he saw me play, it just inspired him want to pick it up again. Well, as popular as you're getting, have you gotten any calls from the White House yet? Because I know President Obama and uh, Mrs. Obama, they like to bring, you know, a lot of good young talent yeah. to the White House. I'll, I'll be called before they, before they uh, leave office. I'll be there. Exactly. Well, make sure you're sitting by that phone because I don't want you to miss that phone call. <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> Well, I would say um, we are glad that you will be here performing tomorrow night at the Tobin Center downtown, which is a beautiful building. And we look forward to hearing you because I am I'm very impressed. Um, I, I love the violin. Um, I, I got into jazz probably like 10 years ago. And we do have um, a violinist, Mr. Michael Ward, that used to play here a lot. And I think he's moved oh, wow. back to to uh, Houston, or I think he's from New Orleans. So we don't get to see him as much as we used to. So it'll be a really big treat to hear you tomorrow night. And I hear it's sold out. Did you hear that? Yeah, people are really uh, getting excited about it. And it's just, for me, I just wanted to be um, a moment for people to get exposed to violin. Uh, something to see that it's uh, it has different uh, the different things you can do with it, um, and it can inspire people. Because uh, growing up, I I often thought it wasn't cool because of the kids that it wasn't cool. So for a while, I believed them until I saw somebody else do it that looked like me, 
Well, I think it's your collaboration. Um, I think you have, like, is it jazz, hip-hop, and classical all mixed in together? Did I say that right? Yeah. Yeah, I think you're grabbing um, people from the young to the young at heart. So you're touching, you know, every stage of everybody's life. So I think that's what's really drawing a lot of people to you. And that, that was the whole mission. The mission was to, to bring people closer together with the music. All the time, we focus, like, oh, it's all about me. But it's really not. It's, a, it's all about how you can positively influence somebody's life and uh, cause them to be better themselves. Yes. <laughs> so before we before we end our interview, can you tell me, and I know it's going to be hard, out of all of your songs, which one is your favorite? Oh, uh, man, the, my most favorite song is, it's an original song I wrote, and it's called Voltaire. And it was, it was my favorite song because it marked my uh, transformation process in my life, where I, I let a, a lot of old stuff old negative things in my life in the past. Yes, and, uh, we all do. Mm-hmm. Like a metamorphosis type uh, transformation process. Yes, we, we all experience that. And we do live through other people's music to get through a lot of things that we go through in our life. Yeah. So if people want to follow you and find you, what's the best way to do that? Um, they can go check out, I have a whole bunch of playlists online at YouTube. Just type in Eric Stanley and YouTube.com where they can go on Facebook and type in Eric Stanley and they found all my music. I have so many videos <laughs> online, just like covers and stuff. My website is ericstanleyworldwide.com. Okay. Well, I heard you have 128,000 subscribers on your YouTube page, so that is awesome. Yeah, this is, this is crazy to see. Uh, it's, it's amazing to see all, all the people come in and be able to put a face to all uh, of the usernames. Right. Because uh, I, I email them um, pretty frequently. Because uh, people just want advice, you know, and they want to type of guidance with how they're learning their instrument. It's just, it's just amazing to see how the internet can be used in a positive way. Well, I want to thank you for calling in and giving me the opportunity to interview you. Um, I look forward to meeting you tomorrow night. You are welcome. I'm excited, man. Let's go. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. You just finished listening to the award-winning violinist, Mr. Eric Stanley, a very young and talented violinist who will be performing tomorrow night at the Tobin Center. Sorry, folks, the Carlos Alvarez Theater has been sold out, but hopefully by popular demand, we can bring him back. Tune in each and every day to San Antonio's number one R&B, old school, jazz, and gospel station, q One Radio. This is Andrea Lady Dre Williams saying, see you at the show. Please continue to listen to Mr. Eric Stanley play violin with Rihanna's Diamonds in the Sky on Q Live One Radio.